So now I've placed my windows. Let's go back and let's look at this by hitting F3. We will now see in 3D, there's our curtain walls. We'll see that they're spaced evenly off those distances. If I decide later on now to come back in here, hit F2, we can select our windows by holding down Shift. And by holding down Shift, you want to make sure that you're not on your wall. When you hold down Shift, you get your pre-selection information. You can go to any area around the edges of the window or even back here in the middle of the window out in this space, as long as I'm not on a Mercedes, it's going to select my window. So I can select my windows here and as I select both of those, I get the pre-selection information. We'll take this back down to a four foot wide window and we'll click OK. And to make sure I'm using the same settings here, I'm going to Alt and click on that window, pick up all those same attributes. And now I'm going to come back in here, find the center location of this, and I'm going to place all three of those windows. Now I've placed those three windows. If I hit F3, I'll see that now in the 3D view. And at any point in 3D, we can shift click on our windows. They are now editable. And then back in here, we can start to click. And when we click on something that's already selected, you have your pet palette. I'm going to go to adjust the height. And this is where I can come back in here now, set a 14 foot head height. And now we've changed all those windows and stretched them up to a 14 foot head height. Okay. And we can come back in here again now, back into plan by hitting F2. Let's go back into our window tool. And at this point, I want us to go in and pick up a casement window. And on this casement window, we'll pick this up and we'll use a, let's use a W2 casement window. I'll click OK. And what I'd like to do from here now is I can use my tick marks to place these accurately along this wall using divisions, using percent, using distance within my control box. Or I can go back in, rest on a point, Alt Shift, temporarily place that user origin, move in a direction, and tell this now R4, enter. So it's four feet off that corner. Come back over here now, set this up, Alt Shift, move off of that point, R four because it's just a relative distance in that direction and as we're setting this up I want to go back in now and I'm going to randomly place three windows. As I randomly place three windows you'll see that I'm staying focused that my sun is on the exterior face. Now I want to go back in here select all five of these windows. There's a number of ways that we can do this. At any point in time you do a command F on the Mac, you can bring up your Find and Select window, and that's a quick and easy way that you can go back in and alt-click to match properties and sizes and settings, and there's a number of things that you can do here to be very specific about picking up that particular window that's that width, that's that height, that's matching all those same settings. And if we go back in there now, hit the plus sign, it's only gonna select the windows that are five foot by five foot but with selecting these, I arbitrarily place these middle three. And with these windows placed, selected on the outside, if I go back to edit and I go to distribute, you'll see I can distribute along an angle, along a vertical plane, a horizontal plane, or I can even go work off a radius or an angle or another arc. There's a ton of options that I have control of here within the distribute tool. Right now, the outermost elements I've selected are the windows. They're not going to change. So when I do a long X, you'll see it shifts the placement of these other windows now, making it very easy for us to see even divisions among those windows. If I go back in now, and I take this, and I select my wall on the left-hand side of the windows, and the wall on the right-hand side, and I choose that as my outermost elements to work with, now when I go back into Edit, Distribute, again, this is a horizontal plane, it will distribute those based on even divisions based off that inside face of that wall and make sure that all those distances are the same along that plane. Whatever your outermost 
and that we can work with an X plane, a Y plane, or X and Y at an angle to set those up. I'm going to hit undo and go back to where we had our windows evenly spaced there initially. We can do this with a number of different tools. We'll do it in later exercises with the column tool.